Taoiseach, uh, the Sinn Féin bill before the Dáil is one last chance to stop thousands from losing their homes. Our legislation to extend the eviction ban buys your government the time needed to use emergency powers to create necessary capacity and safety nets for vulnerable renters. The bill, based on government's own legislation passed last October, will protect those facing eviction and homelessness in the coming weeks. If passed, it would be legally binding on the Oireachtas and it would force the government to act. This bill provides every member of the Dáil the opportunity to state, through a vote on legislation, where they stand. To vote to protect working families, single people and pensioners from losing their homes, or to vote to evict them into pro the prospect of homelessness. At the 11th hour, your government puts down an amendment. You do this not to improve outcomes for people, but to prevent a straight, substantive, binding vote on a decision that spells disaster for so many. It's a deeply cynical move and demonstrates again that government disregards the trauma and devastation facing people from Saturday on. Digging in and refusing to allow a straight, substantive vote on the eviction ban shows that this government is all over the place, scrambling to defend an indefensible decision. The truth is that this government has put more energy into ducking this vote than you have into providing a credible answer to the fundamental question which remains, where are people to go? Last night, my colleague, Deputy Denise Mitchell, raised the case of a woman in her 70s who faces eviction. Can you fathom the stress that this woman is going through facing homelessness in her golden years? Is this really where we are now? Where is that woman to go? Or the mother of three children facing eviction from the middle of April, at her wit's end, worrying about how she tells her children that they're out in a matter of weeks. Pack your toys, your school books into bin liners, pack up your memories, we must go. How on earth do you tell a child that their home is no longer their home? Can any member of government answer this question? Can any TD who backs this cruel decision answer this question? I think not. I know you can't because this is the reality of lifting the eviction ban without having effective measures in place. You've no plan that will make a lick of difference to those at risk of losing their homes from April 1st onwards. The clock is ticking down and you are playing with people's lives. It's tubish the ufosak Asia the Namitsha Chowluk a toy gobber. Dini single August Pincheri Deron Kusk er di Halavu. Ishe Billahin Fein on Tain Valak, the Stupak Hurlesh Namilcha Dini, a tokon a deha a kaila. Bakart and real to stop a gobber in Aiden on Retuk, Akina Yenov, Augustan Kusk er he halavu a hina amok. Taoiseach, I will put it to you one last time before Saturday, before it's too late. Do not lift this vital protection for thousands of renters. Do not escalate a housing and homelessness crisis that is already out of control. Buy the much needed time to do what is necessary to protect vulnerable renters. I am asking you to keep the eviction ban in place until the end of January. Thanks, um, thanks Deputy. Um, we don't believe that extending the winter eviction moratorium to December or January or April or whatever your policy is this week uh, is a solution. Uh, we think it will just make homelessness worse, uh, but at a later point. Uh, the solution is a different one. It's more social housing. It's the tenant and situ scheme. It's more supply. It's tax changes to encourage small landlords to stay in the market and new ones to come in. And it's also funding homelessness prevention services. And that's what we're going to do, Deputy. Uh, and I absolutely appreciate that there are a lot of people who are very worried at the moment, people who've received a notice to quit in the past couple of months. They're fearful, they're worried, and they're, in many cases, experiencing real anxiety. And I understand that. What I don't appreciate, Deputy, is you exploiting those fears adding to them and seeking to amplify them. That is wrong. The answer to your question, Deputy, for the vast majority of people who have a notice to quit served on them, 
is that they will find a new tenancy, perhaps with the help of the government or local authority or with a voluntary body. As I said earlier in the Dáil, 50,000 new tenancies were created last year. And I know Deputy, o Deputy O'Brien accused me of misleading uh, the House earlier in that regard. So since then, I have checked the facts. And according to the Residential Tenancy Board, 52,000 new tenancies were created over the last four quarters. That's Q4 2021 to Q3 2022. And I will read now from the Q3 RTB index report, just so everyone is clear on this. Annual tenancy registration came into effect on the 4th of April 2022 and requires landlords to register their tenancy every year, within one month of the anniversary of when that tenancy began. As the purpose of the rent index is to measure developments in prices faced by, the, uh, prices faced by those taking up new tenancies only, it therefore at present does not include annual tenancy registrations or existing tenancies. However, given the systematic change of data collection activities with the commencement of annual registrations prior to beginning the usual rent index methodology, the Q3 2022 data set was subject to additional checks to attempt to ensure the continuity of the underlying data and they relate to new market registrations only. Once again, Deputy O'Brien gets his facts wrong and no level of confidence, no level of confidence or chutzpah can cover that up, Deputy. Well, um, I, I know for sure that lifting this eviction ban means the prospect of homelessness for thousands of people. And Taoiseach, you know that uh, too. Uh, I know too their fears, their worry, their anxiety. And I know that amplifying that fact, amplifying that experience is not in the least bit exploitative. As a matter of fact, Taoiseach, those who face the pros prospect of homeless now, in a matter of days, expect us to come to the Dáil, expect us to amplify and to express that experience, expect us to fight you tooth and nail and not to give up uh, in our bid to have you change your mind. So you say, I have to say in a very trite manner again, that there's nothing really to worry about here. Should they get new tenancies? Should they be all right? That's simply not true. Yeah. Sure, haven't we spent the last weeks and months, haven't you spent it, lamenting the fact that we are losing landlords, that we are losing capacity in the private rental sector? So Taoiseach, answer this question again, and this time try and answer it straight. Where will people go? My appeal has fallen on deaf ears, it seems. Thank we'll you, have Deputy a vote McDonald. this We're evening. I hope time. the rest of us in these We're benches time, have heard please. those amplified stories of hardship and fear, and we will do the right thing, even if government won't. Yeah. Yeah.